Hello, in my previous video, you've seen me tear down my RTX 3090 Extreme Water Force Water Block Edition. And in that video, I actually replaced two of the thermal pads for the VRAMs. Here they are. The group here and also here. Uh, the, the top portion here and the side portion there. And it actually improved my thermals somewhat and I've decided to actually replace the thermal pads at the back of the card as well. And uh, basing on the some of the reviews I've seen in the internet, it, it actually improved their thermals also. So I'd be doing just that and I might as well show you the PCB layout of the back of the card and how to how to remove the back plate of it. So I already tore it down again. And as I've mentioned, we just uh, focus on the back side of the PCB this time. But for those who haven't watched my video still, uh, please do check that out if you wanna. Anyway, here's the front side of the PCB again. And things to note. The PCB, the, the back plate, this back plate here is not actually connected to to the IO ports or the frame, the PCI uh, bracket. And all we have to do basically is to remove the screws holding the back plate and be careful of the RGB uh, lighting cable attached to the piece attached to the PCB. All right. Again, be mindful of where you put your screws. Uh, you don't want to mix match the screws here. Yeah. Alright, the bottom part's done. Alright. I guess that's it yeah and the back plates actually being held by thermal pads as well so be careful with that one we, we don't want to uh, rip the pads off but in my case I'd actually be replacing them it's also not a but it's also not a bad idea to have uh, spare pads there with you handy and as for the thickness of the pads uh, I'll give you that as soon as we tear this one off. Oh, and by the way, I have quite long fingernails. <laughs> and uh, what you have to be careful on, you might scratch on the PCB with your nails, so be very careful. Again, uh, this is quite stiff again. But I can feel it being uh, separated. There you go. I'm coming at it from all sides. There it is. It's coming apart now. Ah. Uh, I can see the thermal pads breaking up breaking again anyway all right yep the flex cable is indeed and <laughs> the flex cable is indeed there so the pad wasn't here uh it fell from uh, this part here let me take this out i don't actually mind if this cable rips off breaking it uh the light for the rgb for the back plate isn't really that bright to begin with so 
you won't really notice much difference if it gets broken but i was able to detach it properly anyway and all right so that's that and for this one here let me take this i know i won't be using it after this but i still want to be careful huh oh all right uh it's actually cooling uh part of the uh capacitors here for the back uh what i find funny is uh they decided to only cool the only cool these capacitors here and they kind of left these out and i guess uh they are the chosen ones or chosen four uh it's because of the rgb because of the rgb lighting they can't actually put thermal pads on them so uh, I, I find that kind of unfair favoritism much so let me just take this thermal pad out of the way they're actually thick I think this is about 2 or 2.5 millimeters. It's good uh, I, I didn't uh, rip I didn't rip any of them apart. So if I don't have thermal pads thick enough for this plate, I could actually reuse them. So that's good. all right so first off here's the pcb layout the back part uh basing on the plate the die the back side of the die isn't actually uh cooled which is pretty good because the vrams gets hotter than the gpu die so if they actually attach this to the back plate uh it'll get unnecessarily hotter than than it would uh, normally and there you have it uh, just pause the video if you want to uh, see some more of it as for the back plate i actually thought it would be a thicker metal but uh, after taking up after taking it apart it's actually quite thin and uh, I'm guessing it's aluminum so yeah and what else I guess that's pretty much it about this one it, it's not a really good back plate uh, comparing it to a big ski one big ski one uh, I had I have for my RTX 3070 master uh, the Bixky is actually a pure metal one. I mean, a, a solid, a solid metal one. This one is kind of, I don't want to say flimsy, but it, it's kind of thin. And I, I, I'm not too sure if it absorbs heat that well. I, I don't know. I may be mistaken. I, I don't actually know what type of material this one is, but uh, by the looks of it, seems like aluminum. As for the thickness of the pads, here they are. I won't be surprised if this is at least two millimeters. And I'm actually surprised. <laughs> they're actually, ah, sorry, I moved it. Uh, they're actually three millimeters or at, at least this one here. Yeah. uh just uh, a bit above three millimeters so i guess it's safe to say it's three millimeters and as for this one here three millimeters as well here oh they're actually pretty thick three millimeters yeah and well bright side at least they're all of the same thickness right 
and oh too bad for me though uh three millimeters for that one as well so all of the thermal pads are actually three millimeters thick i'm guessing this one's three millimeters as well oh the 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 screw the the slots for the screws are actually about 2.5 or just below three millimeters so that makes sense that the the pads are actually thicker a bit thicker than the slots for the screws are uh anyway too bad for me and i'm really glad that i didn't tear any of the pads because the maximum uh thermal pad i have here with me or the spare that i have is only two millimeters in thickness so all right so that's good and i did change the pads for the vrams for the front of the pcb already uh so at least uh some of the vrams are getting cooler and as for modding ideas well me personally i just attach these heat sinks i'll show them to you guys later on to the back plate and cool them with fan uh, and i only use gravity to to hold the heat sinks in place the the thermal pads i'm using here are non-adhesive and as for the pcb maybe you could uh, buy a thinner thinner uh heat sinks the for reference the vrams width is about 1.4 centimeters take note it's in centimeters 1.4 centimeters thick width for the vrams uh, maybe you could put in a one millimeter uh pads on top of the vrams as to not interfere with the capacitors here one millimeter one millimeter put a heat sink on top of it and maybe this way here maybe like that and drill a hole into the heat sink mount it onto the pcb with a back plate in front to hold it in place right and as for these two here maybe apply a, a thermal pads that's adhesive that has adhesive in them and just attach the heat sink on them and well or you could even just mount a copper plate on it and use the drill holes or the screw holes as reference so uh it'll depend entirely on you so uh if you guys do make mods like that do share them to me email them to me at, at chrisstechrants at gmail.com i'd be more than glad to share them and upload them in my videos um what else so i guess that's it i'll just clean this uh or put this card back together real quick all right so let me show the heat sinks or the temporary solution i made to to reduce the vram temps uh oh oh kudos to the shop i bought this from uh they they were actually uh, able to replace it even though the you know how supply and demand is right now they're able to provide one for me not that fast though took a while but still uh, i'm grateful for that anyway uh here's the back plate what i do is i will actually change the pads the, the pads i'm using right now are 0.5 millimeter i'd be changing them to this one i don't want to use a really good thermal pad and waste them uh just for uh these uh just for this uh reason being is uh, as you guys may know uh i mentioned in my previous video that i'd be buying uh, an active back plate for this card here so i don't want to waste any more pads for this one going back uh, i just attached them here like this uh there's not much point in putting heat sink here uh, as you guys uh saw uh there's no metal here or uh it won't make much sense that's all i'm saying so i attach them here like this another one here 
maybe add two more here or one more here in this side here and I mount fans on them like that actually uh, two of them are blowing as intake and the other ones actually blowing out or acting as an exhaust like that and my case design is my airflow design the air flows like that the the exhaust fans here on top so i don't want to i don't want to make a mess of the airflow so i made sure that the fins of the heat sinks are parallel to the airflow of my case so so it's like that and somehow it did improve my thermals but just a bit uh like i mentioned earlier uh, when i say improve uh, i mean five five or seven degrees celsius max so but hey uh again seven degrees celsius is not that bad if you think about it so that's about it uh, i hope this video will help someone or inspire someone into modding their cards even just for a little bit and again i can say it enough if you guys do or did feel free to share them to me and i'd be more than happy to upload them in my future videos and uh stay tuned be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because as soon as the water block and the active back plate up arrives i would be making a video out of it and again uh hope you like this video hit the like button and see you in the next one